Hello guys, this is Kita Creations bringing you another tutorial. And yes, this is my look that I'm going for. Yes, I did my brows off camera. So if you want a tutorial on that, just hit me up and then we'll be getting a tutorial on eyebrows. This is what I use Anastasia Beverly Hills in dark brown for my brows. And it's a real good product. Very good. And um, right now I'm using for my eyelid concealer, I'm using my Shape Tape and my MAC NC45. And I'm mixing them together. Because shape tape can be very, very thick and sometimes it can be hard to work with if you um, use it by itself. So right now I'm just um, going in with both uh, products together. Like I said, I mix it to make it a thin consistency and applying it to my lid to get ready for my uh, eyeshadow application. You want to make sure you blend this blend this product in any product product you get or put on your face make sure you blend it in as well as you can because you don't want to see any demarcations harsh lines or anything because that sets the makeup to the left you it's not going to be a good applicator so you really want to blend and take your time and um do it right so you're going to see a lot of blending in this video so just blending making sure everything's looking good and um yeah, I'm just checking to see if I got all those creases out of there. So now I'm going in with my Profusion palette. And I'm going to be using the color, I think it's going to be, okay, Madly. That's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to use it as a transparent color. Put in my crease. And I'm going to build that up. You can use any transparent color you want. You can use green, blue, yellow, red, orange, browns, anything. But it's your personal preference. So, you're going to go in and just blend that as well. And uh, make sure that's blend too. Because you don't want to, you don't want to, again, you don't want to see no harsh lines. So, after they're done, both of them, you get the desired look. You move on to the next step. And um, right now, I'm going back into my um, Profusion color and I'm gonna be using the color um, serendipity it's a yellow goldish color and I'm gonna be popping that right underneath of my eyebrow with the color that I used prior the madly color and I'm gonna just blend them two together to make it uh, the harsh line seamless so they can be right like I said blending is key blending is what you want Now I'm going into my Juvia Warrior palette, and I'll be using the color Mino. And basically, I'm just going to be uh, applying this on the outside of my eye. Well, not the outside, but the outer corner of my eye. And I'm going to be giving my eye like a smoky look, like a soft smoke look. Not more, not really like a, um intense smoke, but just like a, a light smoke. Just to give it some color, just to warm up the eye with the remaining color that you already put on there. So you're just giving it a little smoky, you know, look. And like I said, you want to blend all your colors again. I don't know how many times I'm keep saying it, but yes, blend, blend, and blend. Now I'm going back in with my shape tape, and I'm going to be popping it on my lid by itself. Now and again, I told you that you have to work fast with shape tape because it can be thick. It's a thick consistency, and um, you have to work really quickly. But right now, I'm not going for a cut crease look. I'm just basically applying it to my lid so I um, my color can pop more. I recommend this step because sometimes when you put the color on your lid without a base, the color tends not to show as well. So again, any base of your choice, pop that on your lid, um, press it into your skin, and after you press it into your skin, you know, give it time to dry. Pop that color right on that base. And the color is like, any color you use should be vibrant. It should, it should define itself very well with a base. You want to put a base on before any color on your eyelid. That's a must. Now I'm going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And I'm gonna be using um, the color electric and untamed and I'm gonna be just popping that in a corner of my eyelid I'm gonna use the untamed first in a corner of my eyelid that green untamed 
and I don't know which look I was going for but sometimes I just go and I freestyle and for some reason I did not like this color in the front of my eyelid I did not like it so um I was just looking to see if I was you know see what I can do play with it a little bit but um after I noticed that I didn't like it I went in with my electric color it's like a, a glitter color and I put it over top of the untamed and then you'll see the difference what I'm talking about then I was feeling it better I do like green on my eyes it's just have to be a certain kind of green or it just have to you know the way you mix the colors it has to um, work well with each other so right now that's the electric blue I mean I'm sorry the electric green that I'm putting on top of my lid and again blend well right now I'm patting it you don't want to blend this you want to pat when you do eye eye color on your lid you want to pat pat it pat it and build up your product when you're just doing like transparent colors you can pat the transparent colors and um you know blend that together but it's up to you but mostly I like to um blend my transparent color and pat my eyelid color because if you brush in the product you brushing the product away like you're not even you can't even build up a product if you just keep brushing it on you brushing it off so just build it up take your time it's no rush you know beauty is pain and time consuming so you just do what you do and you keep building that product. I really like that green on my eyes. I was looking for a fall, a fall look, but you know, I'm thinking like fall is more like the orangey rust. It's green in it, but it's more like orangey rust, uh, kind of like burgundy. But that's gonna be a whole nother tutorial because like I said, I was just kind of like freestyling and I didn't know where route I wanted to go, so. There you have it. That's my green eyeshadow that I'm loving right now. Now I'm going um, back in my Juvia Warrior palette, and I'm picking up that color Mino again because sometimes when you when you tend to put on um, your eyeshadow, different eyeshadows sometimes they do come off the eyeshadow prior to the one you're putting on they do tend to come off when you're putting on other eyeshadows so sometimes you got to go back into the palette that you used prior and add it again and I don't care how expensive the palette is sometimes they just do that you can get a high a high-end quality palette it's still gonna happen so I went back in I freshened it up and yeah, I got the desired look that I wanted. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild H2O. It's a liquid eyeliner. Y'all, let me tell you, this cheap liquid eyeliner, I love it. I think it was like $2. And I have NYX eyeliners and different eyeliners. but um, And they cost like about $8, $10. But this was $2. And let me tell y'all, this is so... Like, it kills on so good, it doesn't run, and, um, I just, and it stays on all day, all day. And I just love it, and it's easy to work with, the applicator is so easy and lightweight to work with, and it just, basically, it does the job for you. Excuse me, y'all. I'm drinking and it went down the wrong wrong pipe. Okay. <coughs> Sorry again. Now I'm just cleaning it up with my um my uh my shape tape and my um NC45 matte concealer that I had blend earlier and I mixed together and I'm just blending it and um sharpening that uh cat eye up. To give it a more defined look see how that is it looks good right 
I like to sharpen mine up. Some people don't, but your own personal preference, if you want to do it or not. Now I'm going in with my um, matte portless Maybelline in color 334. I live by this stuff. And my Master Prime Maybelline. Those two together are like magic. I love that foundation and I love this primer. The primer is kind of oily, so if you have like oily skin, I recommend something different for you. But it's, it moisturizes and hydrates your skin so well. And I don't have oily skin, so this works better for me. And it works, it works really good and it keeps my foundation on all day. And that's not the only primer I use. I'll get to that in a minute. But then I'm going in with my um, Kabuki brush and just push that product in. Push that product into my skin. You want to push, not wipe. You don't swipe, no wipe, just push. Push the product into your skin so you won't be losing product. Y'all, I was really choking. <laughs> I still feel it in my throat. Okay, this is a Charlotte Tilbury wine. Listen, this wine right here, this contour wine, this stuff is so good. Charlotte Tilbury. I'm telling you, y'all have to get this. All of her products are amazing. This product is so creamy. It works well with your skin. A little goes a long way. And let me tell you, honey, when I put this on my door, um, my face for a contour, I said I'm not going to nothing else. I'm not going any any other product. Look how creamy it is. And see that little bit I just put on my uh, face? Look how pigmented it is. It's so pigmented. It's like, it just blends. It like melt like butter. It melts like butter. And you just blend that in. You never want to see where your foundation and your contour and um, highlights, you don't want to see the beginning and the end. You always want to blend. So now I'm right now, I'm taking my Fit Me translucent powder in the color 20. And I'm just going to go over that um, Charlotte Tilbury and, you know, the rest of my contour and highlight. And I'm just going to soak that in. Yeah, you see me spray my Fit Plus on the Beauty Blender. And I'm taking my translucent powder and I'm putting it on there. I've learned this from Teller May Jane. She's uh, like a her like she's like a goddess on youtube of you know a um makeup goddess i learned this from her you just spray you know yeah whatever your primer on your um beauty blender and you just keep on pressing in into your skin and you have more control of it so right now you just seen like the true complexion the true complexion contour palette that i like to use this is for um darker women you know the darker women that has um darker tones but i like to use it because I like what it do on my skin. I love it. So yeah, that's what I use, and you like what you like. Now you see me going in with my NYX California Beaming, my bronzer. This bronzer, this bronzer is nice. It's settled. It's not too much. It's just right. You know, if you want a more, um, if you don't want a real high intense. Um, bronzer. This is the bronzer for you. California Beaming. So settled. And now I'm going in with my NYX eyeshadow base. I'm going to apply that underneath of my eye and get prepared for my um, eyeshadow. That I went back into my Anastasia palette and popped that color right on the base. Just to give it a more vibrant look and match my lid. Now I'm just taking my, I think, Wet n Wild mascara wand and just intensifying my lash to get ready to put my um, falsies on that I'm about to just pop on. And um, I don't know which kind of lashes that I have. I just go to the store and get them where I just uh, go and get them offline. But I like them. They're not too much. They're just right and they fit me. Now I'm taking my Too Faced Melt Latex. This lipstick is so good. It stays on all day and it's a thick consistency. So yes, I love it. This is the finished look and I hope you guys like it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.